get in here. Woo! Give me some. We got one. Boat. There we go. Get in the boat. Bam! That's a big one. Look at that thing. Bam! That is a monster. Oh my gosh! Uh, definitely the turning point for me was actually the Mississippi River event. Um, that's when things started to click for me and I started to get on a roll. 19 pounds, 3 ounces, Brandon Polinick punishes them at the Mississippi River Rumble. I left the weigh-in site thinking that this was mine to win. 10 o'clock at night I get a call from the bass officials saying that I've been protested. At first I had to question them because I had no idea what they were talking about. I felt like I never did anything wrong. And as we looked into it, we studied the maps, looked at where I was, and I happened to be a hundred yards south of where the state border between Minnesota and Wisconsin turns out of the main river channel and runs the east channel. Um, and I was just a hundred yards south of that, had no idea. And they said, you know, okay, we're gonna talk about it. Um, and then we'll call you back. And so I, I sat there for an hour. I don't think I moved. I sat in the chair in my hotel room um, and just sat there and stared at the map. It was so heartbreaking and devastating. I was, I was literally emotionless. I could have already maintained a lead of probably about five pounds without culling ever. I didn't know what day three and day four would hold, so I wanted to catch as much weight as possible. Um, but once I knew that I had over 18 to 19 pounds, I didn't want to beat on them too bad. Um, and that's when I left them, but it, you know, at that point, once you cull one time in Minnesota, it's game over. Unfortunately, the turn of events caused me to get disqualified from that event. But that, that event really is where mentally I felt like I got back on track. There we go. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what we need. I think if I, if I would have still won Mississippi River, um, I probably would have made the same decisions now because I was making such a large gamble. Um, I might not have been as mentally driven uh, to try to make a win. I mean, even one less event, my back was against the wall even that much more. But that gamble, if I would have already had a classic spot, yeah, you know, honestly, I wouldn't change, trade the way things happen. I mean, obviously, I would have loved to have won back to back, but um, you know, maybe that time will come again. And fair to say, one of the most stunning victories we have ever seen covering the Bassmaster Elite Series.